Hi there guys, so today we're going to try and make this awesome looking poster in PowerPoint. So without any delay, let's get started, shall we? So first of all, we need a blank page like this. As you can see, if you look carefully, the background and the colors, we uh, in total we have three colors here. The background has a gradient feel to it right here you can see that right this part you can see it's a gradient feel so there are two color one is deep and another one is light and then we have the yellow color here so we're going to make a color palette using those color right here I just made a square and you know change the color of the squares feel to make the color palette so that I can <coughs> use those colors with the eyedrop easily okay so we need to first make a square slide okay uh, i made a square slide uh, i will link um, a video that i made previously which will show you how to change your slide size okay so let's get started first of all we will make a square here that will be our background okay okay let's change the outline to no outline and from formats more option uh, we're going to choose the fields and we're going to here and choose gradient fill so that we can add the gradient to our square we're going to use two color like I said previously now I'm going to use the eyedropper tool to pick the colors okay let's do that the colors are picked and then we're going to change the gradient type uh, okay and then we're going to change the direction to mm, let's see this one we're going to change the direction to this one and we'll adjust it a little bit uh, to how we like it like this looks great okay uh, let's move on to the next step which is to add the splash effect in the background so to do that i'm going to use the font i used in my previous video the road rage font so let's do that we're going to make a text box from a, from the text box selection then we're going to add the word i okay i and uh, then we're going to change the color uh, to the yellow that we have in our template and then we're going to change the font to road rage road rage okay so next let's make it big by uh, you know pressing control shift and the uh, the key that looks a little bit like this i'm going to uh, add that here like this so with that key selected we're going to, we can make it a little bit bigger it's a shortcut I know most of you know but still I'm going to I'm telling you that so we need to make it a little bit bigger a lot more bigger actually like this okay cool now next we're going to make a copy of this by uh, you know selecting this and using copy and then using paste here okay so now we have two of them right so we're going to rotate the second one like this okay and then place it here okay and then we're going to change the font size a little bit to make it a little bit smaller and then we're going to place it right about here okay so now we're going to select both of those and group them together so that we can move them easily by choosing only one and you know rotate them and everything else so i'm actually doing it in fast forward mode you can play with it and get your perfect splash result that you want actually uh, okay let's keep it right there maybe rotate it a little bit more i don't know maybe this looks good okay so i already made a png with, by removing the background of the burger you can uh, do that using many online tools i uh, used the online software um, that removes the background uh, i will link that to the description below okay so next copy the burger from here and then paste it here okay uh, let's place it right here yes that looks cool so now let's move on to the next part which is adding the details okay we're going to add the write-ups and other every little detail in our image here 
so uh, let's start adding the details by first adding the text uh, let's do that okay so uh, let's change the font color to uh, white and here uh, the font we're going to use uh, is name is rockness r o c k rockness that's the font we're going to use for our uh, de decoration here and we're going to make it bold and um, now that's the look we're looking for okay so let's uh, add the next text okay then like before we're going to change the color and this time we're going to use a different font the name of the font is razor <laughs> razor face the name of the font is razor face so let's increase the size a bit and we're going to modify the text box a little bit to get our preference result and we're going to place it right here so in our uh, poster as you can see we made a little bit of effect that looks like the burger is in front of the text so we're going to make that happen here so we're going to choose the burger and go to option and then uh, we're going to choose bring it to the front that will make the effect that the burger is in front of the text and it looks a little bit greater than the previous one where the burger was behind here let me show you uh, bring it to font and yeah this does not look good actually but this is pure art so hey, let's continue okay so after we have done this we're going to work on the detail like those things here 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 and the order now button here we're going to make those so let's first make the order now button okay we're going to make a shape uh, actually not this shape let's go to more option we're going to choose this rectangular shape uh, okay which has a round you know sides uh, then we're going to change the shape outline to no outline and the shape filling to the uh, yellow color that we have here uh, we're going to make it a little bit bigger and maybe a little bit smaller here i don't know this looks good okay uh, okay now let's add the text actually no let's copy it from here i'm just to be lazy here <laughs> since i made it before i'm pasting it guys but don't be lazy like me okay so let's place it here okay that looks good oops i selected that uh, out of mistake so let's add the rest of the details okay so i actually used two random axes here x double x here and i use the default font for doing this we're going to make them bold and let's change the color from format text fill to the color yellow here okay now as you can see we have them uh, let's make a copy of them uh, okay by pressing ctrl key and your mouse uh, left key you, uh, together you can make a copy of this or you can just use the traditional way uh, which i'm going to also show you here you know like this copy and then like uh, then like this paste there you can also use that whichever you like okay so yeah that's how we did it and then we're going to change the font color to white okay uh, maybe rotate a bit like this so that's how the design is made so if you have a logo that you want to add to the design i suggest you to add that logo uh, you know right here i keep a safe space here so that you can use your logo of your company or your restaurant so, and promote it in a social media like facebook and instagram to get a, you know new customers and generate new leads that's the space you should add your logo it's the space for your logo guys so i'm just going to copy the previous way where i written your logo so that you can guess where you can you should add your logo so yeah sorry about that uh, let's paste it here so here the, here is the place where you should add your logo so that's it guys that's actually how you can make this poster and to be honest it looks really great and not even 10 minutes has been passed so you can make this poster only using powerpoint and only in 10 minutes so thanks for watching i hope you guys liked it and 
stay safe it's a crazy world out there you know the corona virus incidence is loud everywhere so stay safe stay home and make some poster when you add it okay goodbye take care